Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are about to create the bonus video of this section, section 2, which was the status widgets. In this video, we are going to learn how to create custom widgets in the Flutter using a combination of multiple widgets, uh, built in widgets of the material design. The procedure that uh, used to create a custom widget with the combination of other widgets is called the composition in the Flutter. So basically, we try to create one picture or one element in the flutter using combination of multiple widgets that uh, we are currently going to do and instead of creating that or instead of repeating the code again and again by copy pasting that same lines we create our own widget and we just simply call that widget and avoid any duplication so open android studio okay and here you can see we are inside the application we created in our section one again if you are new please watch the videos and you can get the playlist link from the right top corner so in here you can see we are simply uh, we simply divided our code instead of creating the whole code in one main dot file recently in our tutorials we break that code and we call this home screen which is home dot dot and in this home dot dot we created a scaffold then app bar and then in the body we create multiple widgets so instead this instead of this home if you are following we created a dashboard screen as well so we can instead of calling the home dot we can call dashboard dot so this is how we divide the code and uh, we use the reusability approach in the flutter so let's change to home go to home dot and in here you can see we have a simple scaffold app bar saying a custom widget let me just run the application on the site you can see that our uh, current screen with the empty screen is running with the body so instead of this body let me just create a list view first basically this list view is going to demonstrate that how we can combine multiple widgets multiple small widgets multiple properties and when our code has become huge so we can merge that widget into dynamic widget and also in the static widget so let me first create a list view as we know that we created a list view in the previous videos you can get the link from the right top corner Okay, inside the list view we have a children's property and in the children let me just add a sing one children which is the list style and in the list style we know that we have a title, subtitle, leading and trailing icon so let me just create them. And I have created these four elements you can see we have added bunch of widgets here there's a text widget then we use a style property with two properties then again in the subtitle i have used text then two icon buttons with the icon widget as well so with the on press properties we can style these icons we can change the color so let's say we want to change color of this icon and also in the list style we have bunch of properties for example we want to add a background color and also to add a shape or maybe the border you can see I have created a tile color and then I have added a shape which is a continuous rectangle border if you don't know how to create the list tile and list view you can uh, watch the videos I have added so inside this shape I have added a border radius and also border side with the width of 1 and color is blue as you can see on the screen let me just wrap this list tile with the padding and let's just increase the padding to 10 save this code and now you can see that we have a list style with a background color with a few properties but when in a hole we see a list style let me press ctrl alt l to align the code and you can see that it started from the line 16 until it's going to line 42 so it's around 26 lines of code we write for a single list style let me just close this one add comma at the end and for example we want to duplicate it two times or maybe two uh, more than two times three times so it could be any design so it is growing and growing and it's unmanageable on the screen you can see we have only three options and maybe in the whole code which is almost similar to each other we might want to change title subtitle or maybe the leading icon nothing else the rest of the code will remain same but when i'm going to open it you can see it's too much of code and uh, almost everything is repeating again and again okay the first approach that uh, we have to decide whether we are going to use this widget in other screens of the class or not 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू यूज दिस टाइल और दिस टाइल इन साइड दिस होम क्लास ओनली राइट क्लिक ऑन इट एंड गो टू रीफैक्टर इन साइड द रीफैक्टर यू कैन सी वी कैन एक्सट्रैक्ट दिस एज अ मैथड सो लेट मी जस्ट एक्सट्रैक्ट इट यू कैन सी इट सेंग दैट एक्सट्रैक्ट ऑल थ्री अग्रेंसेज बिकॉज ऑल थ्री विजिट्स आर टोटली सेम वी डेंट चेंज इवन द टेक्सट सो इंटेलिजेंस जस्ट get to know that we have three same type of occurrences and it's going to merge them as a single widget or a single function uh, it's uh, it could be any name it should be a suitable name but for the reference i have added a function here so refactor it and you can see we have inside the list view we have simple three calls of the single function which is inside this class home class and you can see it's not accessible by any other class so if you know that you just need this widget inside this inside the single class then you don't have to go for another class you don't have to create create any other stateless widget but if you want to use that in other classes and also if you want to use that as a dynamic widget you have to pass multiple values you you have to uh, change the properties so for that this is not the suitable way just undo this and again go to padding Uh, any widget that you want to wrap right click go to refactor and in here you can see we have a extract flutter widget method which is basically going to extract it as a stateless widget click on it name the widget list style widget refactor and you can see we have a single call of that class close these paddings and outside this class you can see we have another stateless class which is a list style widget and it's returning a widget of type padding so let me just copy this one and override these two copy it two times again save this and you can see nothing changed but now we want to change these values because we don't want to keep the same text keep the same subtitle keep the same icon or sub sub icon or the trailing and the leading icon we want to change the colors so to make it dynamic let me just cut it from here create a new class and inside the lib folder new create a directory i'm going to name it widgets and in the widgets create a new file list view dot dot so this is a basically going to be list view widget paste that whole class here oops first we have to import the material dot dot package now you can see we have stateless widget and we have that same tile and same padding go to home so we have to import this list view class click on this bulb and you can simply click on it or you can go to package flutter app widgets and list view dot so this is how let me just run it nothing should be changed okay now head back to list view in here uh, you just have to first point out that uh, which variables that you want to change so inside this class above this constructor we need string type of title subtitle then we want icon data because it's not icon it's icon data we want user to pass leading icon and also the trailing icon and also we need color of the list style list style color which will be the background color of the list style and also we need icon color so we need six properties from the user so these uh, six properties must not be required by the user user it's up to the user's choice so to give user privilege let me just remove this so you can better understand let's create a empty constructor so basically this is the empty constructor uh, most of the persons who are coming from other type of languages they know that we create constructors like this and inside the constructor we pass values and in here we initialize all the variables again but in the dart we don't do this it's very simple in here we just have to write this dot title and it's initialized for the single value we don't have to add curly brackets but for the multiple values we have to add curly brackets and in here we have to write this dot title after initializing you can see that it's giving an error because it's saying that we cannot parameter title cannot have a value of null because of its type but the implicit default value is null this means that we cannot pass null values in here in the widget 
so either we have to add question mark here this means that these will these are going to be null or we have to initialize the values so for say for example we want uh, icon data could be null no color could be null yes so these colors could be null could be any color so for example we want uh, we want to make sure that users should pass title and subtitle when it's going to use our list style widget so we will add a required attribute you can see the error is gone because now while when we call this list style widget we should have to pass this title it means that it is not going to be null anymore so again required for the subtitle but for the leading icon we are going to initialize icon to them we will use label icon as default if user is going to provide this leading icon then that icon will be used and if not then uh, default icons dot label this label icon will be used and same we are going to do with this trailing icon so by this way you can see these two are required these two are optional if user is going to provide then user provided icons will be used and if not then these will not be null in any case because these two uh, default values are going to be used and these are these can be null these colors can be null so let me just replace all these values with the hard coded strings so we have a tile color list tile color then we have icon color then we have a title here and then we have subtitle also change this leading icon and trailing icon so everything is set here uh, we call these values in the constructor now head back to the home screen you can see we have an error let's just call these again so we have a widget which is a list style widget so this widget is by default required two things which is the first one is title and then second one is a subtitle so the first one is mouse and the second one is its description and you can see it's not requiring anything and the error is gone add a comma here so let me press control space to see all the properties we have icon color trailing icon leading icon and list style color so if we are not going to pass these icons let's say what happened save the code and you can see that by default the first icon is a label icon and then we have a default icon with no background color and no icon color because we didn't pass any color and by default there is no color to background and icon so let's say we want to pass control d change this title and subtitle and now let's change the leading icon press control alt l bring it down and also let's change list style color so i've added all the properties let's save it and you can see that the next one the gray it's a bit more gray let me just add change the color and now you can see that we have added all the properties with a simple function with a single function and how much code has been reduced to a single line and we passed all the data that we required so we can also pass this on pressed later on in here in the stateful widgets then we are going to change the state we want to create a one single text field and we have to reuse it again and again so that's where we are going to use on press methods and a stateful widgets so the next video is about the section 3 which is the stateful widgets i hope this video is useful again i have a one simple request please don't use ad blocker while watching the videos because it's causing ads to block and which reduce our motivation to create free videos so i hope you learn something new if you learn something new please like the video and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe it thank you for watching take care allah hafiz